is more than 300 miles. That is how far and how long more than 30 cyclists are going to ride to raise money for cancer research and prevention. Cure on Wheels is kicking off its 14th annual ride to Florida's capital this morning. 10 Tampa Bay's Nick Volturo joins us live from Moffitt Cancer Center with more on this ride and the fact that it's all for a good cause. Good morning, Nick. Angelina, good morning. And like you said, more than 300 miles out to Tallahassee to try and advocate for more money for cancer research. I'm here with the co-founder of Cure on Wheels. That would be Richard Spade. Rich, you see the support. You got a little bit of weather that's going to be a little bit of a factor, but that's not slowing anybody down here. Not at all. Uh, this is our 14th year, and there's the challenges of weather and, and, and road conditions always change uh, this year. It's cold, but with that said, uh, the cyclists will will make it. We'll grind through. Uh, you know, there are times where you say, "Hey, it's getting a little tough. I don't know if I want to do this." And what you really think about are the people that are going through cancer treatment currently, the challenges they have, the pain they're going through, and you start to realize it's not that bad, and it gives you that extra bit of uh, energy to grind it out. You know, I always say this is this is freezing for good reason, right? You guys are out here in the cold, and it's all for a good purpose, raising more money and advocating for more money for cancer research. Everybody here has a story. I mean, so many are cancer survivors. You're a cancer survivor yourself. You know, how has this been influential and instrumental in really motivating you guys to really keep pushing forward? Well, while there's been a lot of progress you know, in the uh, in the fight against cancer, there's a long way to go. And uh, for those that are currently going through treatment, it's great that we've come this far, uh, but not, I don't think we, should, we can't stop until everybody finds their cure. And unfortunately, at the rate that people are being diagnosed nowadays, uh, there's a good chance that uh, people may need services in the future. So we have to keep moving to get extra funding uh, to help those that uh, unfortunately will be diagnosed in the future. And you guys have done so much work here at Moffitt Cancer Center. I mean, so much work for the people here. You've raised so much money. I mean, does it really make you proud when you see the results? You see so many people sharing those inspirational stories of, you know, retribution and recovery. Absolutely. Uh, you know, every, this, like I said, 14 years we've been doing this. We look forward to it every year. Uh, it, it's one of our best events. People love this. They look forward uh yeah we're proud there's like we said that's we're just a little piece in the uh in the wheel that's helping f help find a cure for the future but uh we keep moving thank you so much Rich. obviously they're going to be getting out of here very soon you can see the bikes are lighting up and it's all going to kick off here as they make their way to the state capitol to advocate for more funding for now reporting live in tampa nick voltero ted tampa bay